Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at how to add the resistances in parallel uh, using a scientific calculator. Now the question in front of us asks us to add two resistances that are in parallel, uh, 100 ohms and 120 ohms. But before we go in, let's just remind ourselves that to add resistances in parallel, to find the total resistance in parallel, uh, this is the equation that we are using. 1 divided by the total resistance is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3 for however many resistors there are in the parallel circuit. So in our case, well, this is the sum that we are doing. Now, it's important to remember that um, when we're using the reciprocal or inverse function on our calculator uh, to add up these two fractions, that we don't forget to find the reciprocal of the answer. In other words, to turn the answer bit upside down as well to get our total on the top. Let me show you what I mean. So if we have a the calculation over here, I'm just going to do it on my built-in calculator. Um, I'm going to go 100 and I'm going to turn that upside down using my reciprocal function. Now on this calculator it's meant it's written as 1 divided by x. On some other calculators it might be x to the power of negative 1. And you know that x to the power negative 1 is the same thing as 1 divided by x. So find the reciprocal. It's already found the reciprocal. We're going to add that to 120 and again find the reciprocal of that. And then when we press the equal sign, it's going to give us this answer. Now, this is not the total resistance. This is 1 divided by the total resistance. So we need to use our reciprocal button again, our inverse button again, to turn that uh, upside down or uh, so that we have the total resistance. Now, RT is equal to 54.5454 ohms. Now let's take a look at how to do this on some of the more popular calculators in South Africa. Probably by far the most popular calculator in South Africa is the Casio FX82ZA or FX82ZA+. Uh, now in this case the reciprocal button is this button over here, x to the power of negative 1. So to calculate the sum you type in 100 and then you press the reciprocal button and that's going to find the reciprocal of 100. You then press the plus key and key in 120 and again press the reciprocal button and then press the equal sign and that's going to give you the answer but it's going to give you the reciprocal of the answer that you want. You need to once again press the reciprocal button in order to get the final answer in our case 54.5454 ohms. Let's have a look now at the other um, popular calculator in South Africa. It's, it's the Sharp EL531WH uh, or other variants of it. Uh, but the EL series is pretty popular in South Africa. Now in this case, here, the, here is the reciprocal button uh, over here. It is not a, a direct input button, it is a second function button. Now we can tell that it's a second function button because it's written in orange above this x squared button. And to, in order to access the second functions, we need to press the orange or yellow second function button. So, in our case, we would key in 100 and then find the reciprocal by pressing a second function and then the x squared button, which would access the second function or reciprocal uh, function, plus key in 120, again find the reciprocal by pressing second function and the x squared button, then press the equals button, that's going to give us our answer, but it's going to give us the reciprocal of our answer. So the last step is once again to press second function and the x squared button to get hold of the inverse function, and that is going to give you your final answer.